bless it, sanctify it in the name of Jesus. Your promise to open windows and pour blessing upon your people that they, oh God Almighty, can give Lord Jesus from their heart. In the name of Jesus, let it use the glory and honor of your name and give us the victory right now as we look to your save to the utmost. In the name of Jesus, Christ of Nazareth, we give you thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. You may be seated. Please follow the directives of the ushers as the choir will be ministering at this time. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. As I journey through this land, singing as I go, pointing souls to Calvary, many arrows pierce my soul from without within, but my Lord, I journey through this land, singing as I go, pointing souls to Calvary, to the Prince of Glory. Many arrows pierce my soul from without, within, but my Lord leads me on through it. I must win. Oh, I want to see.
living soul. Oh, I want to see you look upon his face. There to sing forever of his saving grace. On the streets of glory, let me lift my voice. Can't surpass all my last ever to rejoice. To see him to look upon his face of his second grace on the streets of glory. Let me lift my voice. There is a past all my life ever to rejoice. Oh, I want to see him to look upon his face. Let to see forever. As I journey through this land, singing as I go, marching for the cavalry, to the crimson door, many arrows pierce my soul, but who thou be, but my Lord leads me on, to him I must win, oh I want to see you, to look up on his face. Yet to come, 
I am happy today as I travel to this land. I've been mighty blessed by God and I'm holy to this land. Hallelujah! Journey's almost over. Battle's nearly won. And I have a feeling in my heart. The, the best, best is yet to come. come. Oh, the, the best, best is yet to come. come. When I walk to heaven's gate. The first time I see Jesus, I can hardly wait. He'll show me to my home and say, this is your home. Will I, I have a feeling in my heart? The best is yet to come. I'm standing now when Jordan's back. As I face the rolling tide. The storms of life are raging. Oh, but I'm, I'm happy, happy now, now in time. time. I see the, the light for a poor man to take me safely. Home. Hallelujah! I'm, I'm a feeling in my heart. The best is yet to come. Oh, I'm the best in the earth to come When I walk to heaven's gate The first time I see Jesus I cannot be with He'll show me to Oh, Lord, He'll say this is your home Will I have a feeling in my heart The best is the yet to come The best is the earth to come When I walk to heaven's gate the first time I see Jesus, I can hardly wait. Oh, he will show me to my mansion. This is your home. Will I have a feeling in my heart? The best is yet to come. Oh, the best is yet to come. Oh, when I walk to heaven's gate, the first time I see Jesus, I can hardly wait. Oh, he will show me to my mansion. Oh, will I have a feeling in my heart? The best is yet to come. One more time, the best is yet to come. When I walk to heaven's gate, the first time I see Jesus, I cannot be wait. Oh, he will show me to my mansion. Oh, when I have a feeling in my heart, the best is yet to come. Oh, the best is yet to come. Oh Lord, the first time I see Jesus, I cannot live. Oh, He show me to my oh Lord. Oh, the time I have a feeling in my heart, the best is yet to come. I yet to come when I walk to heaven's gate. The first time I see Jesus. I cannot be wait. Oh, he will show me to my mansion and say, This is your home. And I have a feeling in my heart. The best is yet to come. Somebody give the Lord a praise. Somebody give the Lord a praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The best is yet. To come, you may be seated in the house. Hallelujah. Amen. We want to acknowledge the presence of our guest speaker tonight, along with all those that came from the King Jesus Pentecostal Fellowship. Put your hands together for Apostle Winston. Baker and all those that came came in after the welcome. Please just stand and shout a praise at this time. All of King Jesus, just stand and shout a praise. No, no, sound serious, no, no, because if I go drop off, but me no mind if it drop off, you know, so I have to go shout again. Come on, somebody join them and shout hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. You're seated. Amen. All right. So we're going to ask, just have a few quick greetings. Amen. So I'm happy to see. It's Meekle and Meekle. 
Amen. So we heard from Wife Meek on Sunday. Amen. But I'm um, tonight. So Pastor Meek, please come and greet us. Thank you, Bishop. And praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, shout hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Come on, call our God by his name. Call him by his name. Tonight I'm so to greet Bishop and Minister Hyatt, I bring you congratulations from the Potter's House United Pentecostal Church. And um, we will be praying for you, and your family, and your church. Greet Apostle Baker, all the other bishops, ministers, beautiful choir. <laughs> Amen. The choir is just marvelous. Boy, you're so energetic. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> you, you, you have a way of just energizing the service. Praise God. We could just go on and on and on and on. But I know we have to stop. God bless you in Jesus' name. Call him by his name. Pastor Bradshaw this time. Call him by his name. Call him by his name. Come on and praise the Lord, everybody. Come on and praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, let the redeemer of the Lord say so. Hallelujah. Come on, let me hear you shout unto God with the voice of triumph. Come on, somebody open your mouth and release in this region tonight. Come on, open your spirit. Release something in the heavenless. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. All right, all right, all right. All right, I'm, I'm in Pentecost. And somebody said, I love the thrill that I feel when I get together with God's wonderful people. I'm excited tonight, amen, to be in apostolic house of worship, amen. I don't know what you come to do tonight. If you come to spectate tonight, I'm not a spectator. I come to release something in the atmosphere. And if you're gonna get anything tonight, you're gonna have to release something to get something once it goes up honey it's coming down is there anybody in here that comes with an expectation i don't know what you come to do tonight but i come with an expect my god amen greetings to the angel of this house amen to bishop Hyatt and his lovely wife, amen, Bishop Allen, Bishop, amen, Williams, Elder Mullins, Bishop Allen, God bless you, sir, and of course to our presiding Bishop, Bishop Winston Baker, amen, we on the shores of Grand Cayman is under the leadership of Bishop Winston Baker, and I'm so thrilled tonight to be in this house, amen, I don't know about you, but I come tonight with an expectation. I just don't come to church because it's church. I come with an expectation and I'm not leaving the way that I come tonight. Uh, Jeremiah, uh, somebody try to silence him. Put him in a dungeon. Uh, but Jeremiah said, I'm going to release. Even in a dungeon, I'm going to release uh, a shout tonight. Is there anybody in here that will open your spirit tonight and shout? Uh, Hallelujah. Uh, something is about to release. Uh, Elijah said, I hear the abundance of rain. When clone black up, it's going to release something. Release yourself tonight and you will get what you come for. 
Say, send some more Elijah to pray the power down. Send some more Elijah, send the rain. Oh, to heal the sick, raise the dead, glorify his name. I would like to hear Elijah pray again. Oh, send some more Elijah oh, to pray the power down. Oh, to heal the sick, raise the dead and glorify his name. I would like to hear Elijah pray again. Oh, one more time. Oh, Send some more Elijah. Oh, Lord. Pray the power down. Oh, Lord. Send some light on, so send the rain. Yeah, oh, to, to heal the sick, sick raise the dead and glorify his name. I would I like to hear Elijah pray Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Amen. So, in, in, in very short order, I'm just going to hand over the mic to Ella Mullins. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So, for, for those of us here, um, Bishop Baker would have book released last week. Uh, it should be projected on the screen anytime now. From the guttermost to the uttermost. Hallelujah. And my summary is, you know, sometimes on a, on a year past, I preach, you know. I don't know, see go on and I smile and we are praying for people and we are encourage people and we are sing and everything, you know. But you don't really know the journey. Amen. So this book is giving a summary of the journey from the gutter to the amen and this book will be available to us here on a special deal of three thousand five hundred dollars amen i i had to drive all the way to Negril. no south south lamar to get my own Amen. But I don't regret it. But sometimes you can't go for something. It come to you. Amen. So, so we are Missionary Wilson. Missionary Wilson. All right, please stand. All right, so those of you that are interested. All right, since it's for, since it's for us, let me just switch it up a bit. Stand up, Evangelist Russell. So anybody interested, go to Evangelist Russell. And then we put the others together and we pass it on to you. Is that all right? Amen. Amen. So we want to hear, we want to hear a selection from the King Jesus Pentecostal choir. Lord have mercy. Lord. Me love when, me love when people come here, they fit in, you know. Amen. I love when people come here, they fit in. You see, you over there, so. All right. All right, all right, all right. Come on, don't put your hands together for them, no man. If we have, if we have one father, which is Jesus Christ, and one mother, which is the church, we should have the same nature, you know. Amen. So if me and your brother and sister, when you come on my yard, you're not supposed to be a funny, funny, you know. Amen. And I walk on a shell. Amen. You see, like how we load and bister us and make one heap nice. King Jesus, come here, come make some nice. Somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Who's going to take the mic?
Hallelujah. 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 Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I need somebody to just celebrate the name Hallelujah. of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, somebody. Just yada your maker Lord, tonight. Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Shout Hallelujah. 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 He's an on time God. Yes, he is. Oh. Job said, but he'll be there right on time. I said, he's an on time God. Yes, he is. You can ask the children of Israel, trap at the Red Sea, but then me no Pharaoh and these army, they have water all around them and Pharaoh on the track, but out of nowhere God steps in on a highway just like that. Let me tell you, he's an old time God. Yes, he is. Oh, old time God. Yes, he is. Job said, he may not come when you want him, but he'll be there right on time. I tell you, he's an old time The 5,000 hungry folks that fed on the face of the river with two fishes, five loaves of bread. What a miracle when he fed that multitude. Oh, what he did way back then put me for me and you. Let me tell you, he said, on time, He's on time for you. He's on time for me. He's on 
your time when I was down. It's your time. They burn me up. It's your time. It's your time. It's your time. It's your time. My God. It's your time for you. For me. It's your time. All time. All time. Oh yes. It's your time. All time. He's on time. He's on time. He's on time. He's on time. For you. He's on on time. God. Yes, he is. Oh. Job said. May not come when you want it. God heal. He there at all time. I said. Come on, somebody give the Lord a praise. Tonight. Hallelujah. Jesus is on time. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Amen. So, I, I, Shana, had acknowledged this person's presence, but I want to big her up, and I'll tell you why. I know she's shy, you know, so I have to go and talk around the thing. But so so we, 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 we launched a ministry in Jacksonville, Florida. And we were worshiping somewhere. And things become uncomfortable. And we had to move out of that space. And this lady just heard about the situation. And she opened up her doors. And she said, Pastor, I'm going to come. Use here so. As long as I don't want to. Until you don't get somewhere. That is a big deal. Amen. Because since then, souls have been baptized since then deliverance has taken place since then God has just opened up many doors amen and so um, sister Mark just stand please amen just stand please I know money may I give you know. may I give better than money hold out your hand just open your hands I'm pouring the oil of blessing in your hands. And I want you to just rub it together. And just anoint your head. And anoint your feet. And anywhere in between that was not anointed. Amen. Let it be covered. Because I am blessing you as a servant of God. I am blessing you for blessing the church. Church, we take it lightly. You want me to show you a story? When I think it was Israel was fleeing 
from their enemies. And they wanted to pass through Edom. And the Edomites said, no. We are not going to let you through. When you read the book of Obadiah, it tells you, the Lord said unto them, in the day that you refused to help your brother, even you were as one of their enemies. So this that this lady has done is not a small thing. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 So we just, just stretch your hands towards her and bless our church. Check one. Just say bless her, one. Lord. Check one. Just say bless her, Lord. Hallelujah. And this is not for publicity or anything like that. Amen. But it's to give God glory and to show appreciation. Hallelujah. Unto the people of God. Amen. So at this time, let us hear from Ella Mullins. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. All I, All I have needed, thou hast. Provided, great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto thee. Great is thy faithfulness, great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. All thy heavy that thou have provided. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is Thy faithfulness, Lord, unto thee. Come on, give the Lord a praise in this house. Come on, give the Lord a praise in this house. You know that he's faithful. Open your mouth and give him a praise. Even when we are not faithful, he can't stop being faithful. Come on, open your mouth and give the Lord a praise in this house. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise God, praise God. I just want to take the time out to greet the Spirit of the Lord Jesus Christ. That is the source of my entire being. I greet the holy angels that are in this house. They are dispatched and they are ready to do what the Lord have commanded them to do on behalf of us who are hearers of salvation. Praise God. I greet the house pastor of this wonderful assembly in no other person than Pastor Hyatt. Praise God. And his lovely wife. Praise God. I greet. Praise God. Bishop Williams and all the other officers and pastors and missionaries and deacons. Wonderful choirs members. Praise God. And visiting friends from near and far. I bring holy greetings to you all in the name of Jesus Christ. I greet my own presiding bishop and apostle in no other person than Bishop and Apostle Winston Royal Baker. God has been good, praise God. His type is very rare. So we are blessed when we have a man like that in our midst. We have to give God thanks. Many assemble. Would love to have a man like this in their midst. Praise God. And they are not able to. But we are privileged tonight. To have him in our midst. So we have to pray him up. Because the enemy don't like him. 
Praise God. But with our prayers, we can push back every attack of the enemy. Praise God. He has written some books and his latest book is from the guttermost to the uttermost. I believe that every person who says they are called by God, you should have a copy of that book. And anybody you know that speak evil of you are this man of God, I think you should buy that person a copy as a gift. Because when you see people going through what they're going through, and when God exalt them, you don't know what they go through. But when you read that book, you can be encouraged to know that God can take you from the guttermost and place you to the uttermost. Praise God, because God is a good God. Praise God, praise God, praise God. I just hand over back the mic, praise God. They have a special announcement in Jesus' name, praise God. Amen. Uh, Bishop Baker, please stand, sir. Amen. So, on, on behalf of our church, the Apostolic House of Worship and Deliverance, I want to present this little token to you. Uh, you know, many times when I'm going through some difficult situations and at the one o'clock and the two o'clock at night message them kind of help me navigate through it and um, while I am not a member of your congregation I want you to know that I respect you as a man of God yeah. amen and, and I and I really give God thanks for you the truth is as Ella Mulling said a while ago men like you are very rare Amen. And so we have to value those that God put around us. And this is, I, I really wanted to be at your pastoral service, but it didn't work out. But I said, as long as I know that you are coming, I want to give you something because you deserve it. So man of God, God bless you. And thank you and keep up the good work. Keep up the good work. Amen. All right. Come on, everybody, stand at this moment. It's time for the word. We have experienced fourth degree cancer being healed. We have experienced eyes that was in pop open, dumb speak, cripple walk. Somebody with seven strokes was fully delivered. We have even experienced the dead being raised through the ministry of our presiding bishop and general overseer, Bishop Winston Royal Baker. Put your hands together as he bring forth the word in no other name, in the name of Jesus Christ. Put your hands together and receive him in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 Somebody keep those hands clapping. Keep those hands clapping. Clap those hands and give God a better praise tonight. Come on, you can do better than that. Give the Lord a better praise tonight. He's worthy to be praised. Come on, clap those hands and magnify. Magnify the King of Kings. He's the Lord of Lords. Somebody wave your hands and give the Lord a wave offering tonight. Come on, give the Lord a wave offering tonight. He's worthy. Hallelujah. Mr. Technician, you got to help my voice tonight. Take it up a little bit more. Come on, somebody, give the Lord a wave offering. He's worthy to be praised from the rising of the sun unto the going down of the same. Somebody reach to your neighbor and say, neighbor, my good neighbor. Glad to see you tonight. You are at the right place at the right time for your miracle. Come on, and a little bit and give God a better praise than that. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy to be praised. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. He's worthy to be praised from the rising of the sun. Hallelujah. God is a good God. Please, while you remain standing, turn your Bibles with me to Mark chapter 5. God is a good God. Mark chapter 5. Let me have privilege first to greet the Spirit of God, who is the source of my life. Hallelujah. Who pulled me out of nature's darkness and placed me in his marvelous light. I give God thanks for him, the Spirit of God, who 
is resident in the church tonight. Hallelujah. I greet Bishop, the angel of church, the angel of the church, this church, Bishop Hyatt. Uh, I greet Bishop Williams and Bishop Allen. Praise God. And all God's wonderful people, preachers and teachers and mighty men of Father. Hallelujah. All the officers in the pew, I see Elder Barrett in the pew. And Pastor and his wife and all God's wonderful people. Choirs, greeting the holy name of Jesus. Musicians and technicians, multimedia personnel. I greet in the holy name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. God is a good God and there is none like him. Anybody come for a word tonight? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is a good God. Hallelujah. Mark chapter 5. Hallelujah to God. Mark chapter 5. Let's take from verse 1. Then we skip to verse 18. Mark chapter 5 verse 1. Are you there? Hallelujah. And they came over unto the other side of the sea, into the country of the Gadarenes. And when he was come out of the ship, immediately there met him out of the tombs a man with an unclean spirit, who had his dwelling among the tombs. And no no man could tame him. Hallelujah. No man could bind him. No, not with chains. Hallelujah. To because. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody, give the Lord a praise in him. Let's go back to verse 3, please. Who had his dwelling among the tombs, and no man could bind him, no, not with chains, because that he had been often bound with fetters of chains, and the chains had been plucked asunder by him. No fetters. And the fetters broken in pieces, glory to God, neither could any man tame him. And always night and day he was in the mountains, in the tombs, crying and cutting himself with stones, glory to God. But when he saw Jesus afar off, and he ran and worshipped him, and cried with a loud voice, saying, and said, what have I to do with thee, Jesus, Son of the Most High God? I adjure thee by God that thou torment me not. Hallelujah. Glory to God. For he said unto him, Come out of him. Come out of the man, thou unclean spirit. And he asked him, What is thy name? And he answered and said, My name is Legion. For we are many. Glory to God. Come on, somebody. God is a good God. Let's go over to verse 18, please. Hallelujah. And when he was come into the ship, he that being possessed with devil prayed him that he might be with him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is a good God. We are at verse what, 19. How beef. Jesus suffered him not, but said unto him, Go, go home to thy friends and tell them how great things the Lord has done for thee and hath compassion on thee. And he depart and begin to publish in Diopolis, how great things Jesus had done for him. And all men marveled. Verse 21 and last. Glory to God. And when Jesus 
pass, was passed over again by ship unto the other side. Much people gathered unto him, and he was nigh unto the sea. Let us pray. Eternal God, our Savior, our Master, our King, our Redeemer, God that declare, let there be light, and there was light. Here we are tonight in your house. Hallelujah. Speak to your church tonight, Holy Spirit. Sit upon me one more time. Give me the unction to function in this house. Let the Spirit of God have dominion tonight. Holy Spirit, give high ranking angels charge. Give them swords of fire. Let them execute the judgment that is written. Father, please have Touch my tongue. Let my tongue be the pen of a ready writer. Have the Holy Spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Somebody clap your hands and praise the name of the Lord. Come on, praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ tonight. He's worthy to be praised from the rising of the sun and to the going down of the same. Our God is worthy to be praised. Before you take your seat, I want you to look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, my good neighbor, let my answer be released. Come on, release my answer. Hallelujah. Before you take your seat, just touch somebody again and say, legions can't bury me. Come on, say, legion can't bury me. Tombs can't hold me. Chains can't keep me from my destiny. Clap your hands and praise the name of the Lord. He's worthy to be praised. Come on, somebody. Turn to your neighbor one more time and say, Legion can't bury me. Come on, Legion can't bury me. Tombs can't hold me. And chains can't keep me from my destiny. Clap your hands and praise the name of Jesus Christ tonight. He's worthy to be praised from the rising of the sun. You may be seated in the presence of the most high God tonight. God is a good God. And there is none like him. I worship him because he's Lord. He's king and he is master. He, there is none like our God. He reigns, he rules, and he have all power in his hand. Our God, full the universe, he is the omnipotent God. He's the omnipresent God, and he's the omniscient God. There is none like him. He sits high, and he looks low. He controls everything. He's God. Hallelujah to God. I love him tonight because when people can see the good in you, God is the only one. And, and, and when people write you off, God is just getting ready to raise you up. Check I love him tonight because uh, tonight we are faced with a text. Hallelujah. How God is unique in works god just know how to defeat and destroy the works of darkness hallelujah because here we see now jesus is on the mission jesus is preaching and he have a crowd oh jesus is moving the crowd because he's the most anointed man Right in the midst of his preaching, he turned to his disciples and he declared, let us go over on the other side. Glory to God. And when Jesus declared that, Jesus and his disciples now moving over to the other side. But the Bible said that right in the midst of that, there came a contrary wind. There arose a storm in the middle of the lake. Uh -huh. In Luke, it says the storm is contrary. 
In other words, it's not according to nature. This wind, this storm appears from nowhere. It shows us then as children of the Most High God that we are operating in two realms. Even walk in the flesh. We do not war according to the flesh. Because we are not the only beings that inhabits the earth. There are unclean beings that are around us. And there are holy beings that are around us. So we got to know how to navigate in life because there are spirits all around us. I want to talk to you a little bit because here we see now Jesus said, let's go over on the other side. And right in the midst of everything, a storm is on the sea. It shows us then that since it's not a storm according to nature, it simply means it's a demonic storm. It shows us that, that when Jesus declared, let us go over on the other side, there were beings that was there that heard him. Uh, hallelujah to God. And, and because they heard his conversation, they are making sure that Jesus don't reach over the other side. That's how it works, you know. Oh, Jesus, the devil never want you to fulfill your destiny. Mm -mm. The devil never wants you to walk in your purpose. And when you open your mouth and declare stuff, there are spirits that go ahead that go on to set traps, that put up barricades so that uh, you don't finish your journey. Jesus is God manifest in flesh. And here when God manifests in flesh declare let's go over the other side. There is a contrary wind. Oh Jesus. Check Can I one, talk to one, the church one, of God? Check one, two. Hallelujah. We see that the Bible says that right in the middle there was a storm. The disciples begin to worry because the storm is fierce. They begin to worry because the storm is rocking the boat. But Jesus is in the boat. The Bible said that Jesus was asleep. Hallelujah. And while he was asleep, water was coming in the boat. Thanks be to God because it shows that when you're walking by faith and you know the will of God for your life, you won't allow the storms to get you timid. You won't allow the storms of life to stop you. It will not allow you to become fearful when the storms of life is hitting against your boat. You can go to bed and have a good night's sleep. I don't know what your storm tonight, but the word is go to your bed and have a good night's sleep. Because Jesus said, let's go over the other side. And if Jesus said you're going over the other side, you can go to your bed and have a good night's sleep. Are you coming with me, warriors? Is there any warrior over here in Kingston? I come to speak to some warriors. Jesus said let's go over the other side and right in the middle of things sickness come in you know yeah, Jesus said let's go over the other side and right in the midst of it your best friend turn again Jesus said let's go over the other side and the person who should help you to go on the other side becomes your enemy what are you going to do Oh, touch your neighbor for the first time and say go to your bed and have a good night's sleep Jesus uh, going over. Hallelujah. We see then that uh, our enemies have ears. Uh, oh, Jesus. Our enemies 
They are live beings. You read it in Luke chapter 11. The Bible said that when an unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he goes to dry places seeking rest, finding now. He said to himself, that means they can reason. And I said to himself, I, uh, I, I, I'm tired. I'm only to go back. I'm going to find seven other spirits more wicked than myself. In other words, they can plan. So, number one, the enemies, they have reasonability. Number two, the enemies plan. And number three, the enemies have wicked spirits. So, they have different ranks in their kingdom. You're coming with me. Can we have a little bit of church, please? Don't be distracted. You come from a word from God. So watch this now. The Bible says that Jesus declared, let us go over the other side. There were unclean spirits that were present that heard what Jesus said. Oh, touch your neighbor and say, neighbor. When you sit and talk, there are eavesdropping spirits that hears your conversation. And because of what you say, they have plans to block you from fulfilling that plan. Oh, sure. I'm going to preach this thing tonight. You know, God give it to me, so I got to release it tonight. And so watch this now. They know that Jesus Christ, oh God, he's the son of God. He's God in human body. He's the father incarnate. They know that Jesus Christ is God manifest robe in flesh. But yet they attack him. Oh, Shia. Yet they try to bring his boat under. Oh, Shia. In other words, it doesn't matter how powerful you are. In other words, it doesn't matter what level of anointing you wear. The devil have a plan to crash your boat. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Lord, it doesn't matter what level of anointing you sit in. The devil have a plan, a scheme. Paul said it in, in Ephesians chapter 6. He said that you must be careful and watch the wiles of the enemy. A set plan, a trap that he have against you and so now they decide to bring the boat under the disciples now became fearful oh jesus but jesus was asleep you got to understand when god give you a word you must able to go to your bed and have a good night's sleep because if a word is over your life the devil just can't stop god's word the devil can block God's word. When God release a word, he watch over his word so that his word comes to pass. It will never return to him void. When God said it, you must just believe it and that's Circles it. Are oh, you coming with me tonight? I'm not leaving you. You're coming tonight. We're going in depth tonight. I'm pulling you. You're coming tonight. So sit tight and let us talk. And so now we see the Bible said that the enemy have a set wiles, that the enemy have a set plan. And when the boat reach in the middle, he wait until the, ro- the boat is at a place. If it capsizes, there is no help. The devil always wait until in the right time for attacking us. When him launch him attack him expect you oh Jesus to go under but thanks be to God it reminds me of Peter oh Peter was in prison and Herod killed James and Peter was there sleeping the night and Herod said tomorrow morning you're gonna die how could Peter go to bed and sleep the night Herod says, tomorrow morning I'm going to cut off your head. Oh, Shia, you don't read it in Acts chapter 12. Come on, where are the warriors in here? Where are the believers in here? And so he says that he's sleeping now. Death sent on him. And tomorrow Herod is going to behead him. 
and the Bible said the angel appeared in prison and the angel smoothed Peter and said get up and put on your sandals I wonder how could Peter sleep when tomorrow morning your head is cutting off but touch your neighbor say neighbor when you have the word of God over your life I don't care what kind of death threat I don't care how Herod wants to kill you it could be the Dan around town it could be the Dan around Winward down somewhere down here if God have a word over you you can go to your bed tonight have a good night's sleep for while you are sleeping he's watching over you my God don't put on pajama Oh, touch somebody, tell them, my God, don't wear pajama. My God never sleep. Bishop, I get up too quick, sir. Please sit down, Bishop. When you stand up, I'll start preach too quick. Let us talk for five more. Oh, no, that sentence is on the man's life. Oh, Jesus, dead tomorrow morning. But he's sleeping tonight. You know why? Because Jesus speak a word of a Peter life. And Jesus said, now you are young. You do what you want to do. But when you get old, they're going to bound you and bring you where you don't want to go and kill you. So when Jesus said that to Peter, Peter know that Jesus is saying you're not going to die young. You're going to die old. So when Herod said tomorrow, I'm going to cut off your head. Peter could go to his bed and have a good night's sleep because a word is over. He's, is there anybody in here get a word from God? Have God ever spoken to anybody? You ever open your mouth and a word us jump? The Bible and a word us jump out. Have God says no weapon form against you. You ever receive a word? The Lord is my shepherd. God ever send you a word? So when you go through the fire, when you go through the water, well, if God give you a word, then the sit tight and navigate through life because the devil can't kill what God anoints to live tell yourself that three times please oh Jesus the devil can't kill you come on speak over your own life please can't kill what God anoints to live the devil just can't kill you can't kill you before your time God won't allow that somebody give him a praise take two minutes and give God a praise in here and so now Jesus was sleeping while his disciples were fearful and Jesus they wake up Jesus and care us not that we perish Jesus said oh you have little faith what's wrong with you you don't know that the devil can't kill destinies when destiny is in your belly God will break every cord just to make sure his word come to pass in your life and the Bible said Jesus now he rebuked the wind and there was a calm. Jesus now reached over the other side. Shayabasa, I must go over the other side. When Jesus reached the other side, the Bible said that there came out a man who was the man possessed. When Jesus reached the other side, there was an attack. The first attack was in the midst of the sea. Then uh, when he reached the shores, there was another attack. As a child of God, you've got to be sensitive of the move of God in your life. Anytime God is going to do something big, look out for an attack. I don't know who I'm preaching to, but I want you to know that if God is going to raise you up, look out, the enemy is coming. Now Jesus is on the shore, and guess what? There are at him a man that was demon possessed this man carries a high ranking demon and he's there to make sure Jesus don't take over the territory he's there to make sure you see anywhere God is going to raise you up look out for an attack from the same place I come with a word from God 
anywhere God is going to use you. Don't let church people run you out of church. You're crazy. Because if they fight you in the church, that means your ministry is right there. Come on, touch your neighbor and say, neighbor, bloom where you're planted, man. Who am I preaching to? No, Jesus is on the other side. And when we look, we see a fresh attack. They just survived the storm. No, a man possessed with demons come before Jesus, ready to, to rip him apart ready to tear him to shreds who am i talking to the devil want to rip your ministry apart the devil want to tear you to shreds but don't you worry if god stop calm the storm he's gonna deal with this attack too he will never leave you nor forsake you anything god start Oh, Shia. Come on, tell somebody he's able to finish it. Come on. The demon fight him. Oh, Jesus, the demon trouble the water. Now a shift take place. Oh, the disciples saw the miracle. The, the storm calm. No, he's on the shore. The demon wants to defend his territory. It blows my mind because it brings me back. How territorial demons operate. Because the Bible said that Israel was in Babylon. Nebuchadnezzar had the city lock hallelujah to God and the Bible said while Israel was in Babylon oh Jesus the heavens were shut over Israel and the Bible said Daniel set himself to see the face of God and the Bible said from the first day he opened his mouth his words were heard Shanda Messiah it shows me that as a child of God when you pray heaven hears your prayer when you see God heavens release your answer but when it's answered when the answer is released it is released from the eternal realms and from the eternal realms it is released and it comes into the everlasting realms Jesus, should I go there? Who am I talking to? In other words, when God speak a word, he speak it from eternity. But when it comes, it lingers in the spiritual realm. So the answer is given, but it is hidden. Oh, I feel like I want to go in there now. Can I go? Touch somebody. Say, let's go. If you don't get it, just take the tape and read and listen it about four times and the revelation will pop out now it is given from the eternal realms and now it is in the spirit realm which is the everlasting realm it is there but it is hidden oh shia somebody say axe and it shall be given but it is hidden seek because it's hidden you gotta seek for it seek oh shire and if you seek it i can't find it it's there but it's locked up come on where is your worshipers not then the man it is you're not because it is locked oh shire who am I talking to? It's kind of a bit hard now. Religious folks can't come now. Sorry. Oh, Jesus. Somebody say, Acts. And it is given, but it's hidden. It's there, but you can't see it with the natural eyes. So you got to seek after it. And if you seek and find it, when you find it, it's there. But guess what? It is locked. You're not coming with me. And because it's locked, you got to knock. And you don't have the key. If you have the keys, you would knock. You're coming with me now. Should I exegete that, please? And so now, Daniel asks. He wants to know what's God planned for Israel. And from the first day, 
heaven heard and heaven released his answer but something was taking place not up in the eternal realm but in the spiritual realm there was a warfare oh jesus so your blessing can be released and right in the realms of the spirit there are principalities that is holding back that blessing that your name is written on and if you are not persistent if you are not radical if you don't put everything in it if you don't get radical and say it's mine devil mine Oh, shall I feel preaching enough? Who am I talking to? You got to be radical. Somebody touch your neighbor, say neighbor. I'm the kingdom, the kingdom of God. Suffered violence, but the violence don't lay down and play dead. The violent become violent and let hell know Jesus is my healer. This cancer won't get me out. This diabetes won't get me out. This high blood won't get me out. For he was wounded for my transgressions. He was bruised for my iniquities. The chastisement of my peace was upon him. And by his stripes, you got to be radical and take it by force. Who am I talking to? God is raising up a generation. Joshua generation who walk with a sword to chop down everything and take over territories where are the warriors in here throw your head back on your mouth it's my time it's my season sit down let us talk Shia I'm here Speaking to spiritual people. Shaya Vasa. Haya Masaya. Shanda. So his answer was there. But he couldn't see it. His answer was right there. But there was a warfare. There was a destiny killer. There was a set of demons that hold back destiny. Daniel decided I'm not giving up. And God said, that's what I want to hear. Daniel said, I'm not showing the towel. And God said, speak it some more. And Daniel said, no retreat. No backing down. No surrender. It's my time. It's my season. I'm not giving up. And heaven said, that's what I want to hear. The prince of Persia hold the answer in the realms of the spirit. Oh, Shia, where are the warriors? Are you here? That simply means it doesn't matter how spiritual you are. It doesn't matter what level you wear in the realms of the spirit. There are unclean spirits of different ranks who was placed on assignment. But somebody touch a neighbor and say, thank God. Anytime high ranking demon will fight you, God send high ranking angel to back you up. Where are the warriors? It's kind of a little bit flat. Because the Bible said that. Daniel decide he's not giving up. Daniel decide he needs his answer. And Daniel say, I fast me, I go fast. Daniel say, I pray me, I go pray. I may not stop fast. May not stop prayer. Until heaven show up. 
Oh, little did Daniel know that while he was fasting, a shift was taking place in the realms of the spirit. While Daniel was fasting, there were war taking place. A battle was raging while Daniel was fasting. Are you coming with me? You see, you got to understand that they are territorial spirits. And so Persia had Babylon. We know the story that Nebuchadnezzar died. You're coming with me. And uh, the Medes and Persians took over Babylon. And so it is a spirit that have that place lock. Now, in order for Daniel to get an answer, that demon have to be defeated. Oh, touch your neighbor, say, neighbor. This message might sound rough, but the truth is, you have to defeat him in order to walk in liberty. Shayabasa, there is a devil you got to fight, and you got to pull him down in order for you to walk in freedom. And so now Daniel was in, in Babylon, but the, the demon of Persia have the city lock. And when the answer was released, the demon said to Gabriel, this place was dedicated to the devil. And so you can walk in this place and just give answer like that. I'm not allowing that. But Michael and Gabriel, Gabriel said to him, I come with a message. And I'm going to release the message. Prince of Persia said, well, I war. And Gabriel said, I'm a messenger. I don't do warfare. I'm a messenger. And messengers don't fight. So I'll wait until heaven send another level of angel. So he was with the Persian spirit holding and waiting because if Daniel ever continue to pray if Daniel ever continue to fast heaven has sent another angel and this time no messenger now come this time the warriors will show up Oh, you better touch your neighbor. Say, neighbor, the warfare that you're going through. You don't need a messenger. You need a warrior. And God say, a warrior am I released tonight? Who am I preaching to? Gabriel came to deliver the message. But he was held. Oh, Jesus, where is the worshipers? He was held in Babylon. And Gabriel said, I will not move until heaven answer. Daniel said, I'm not giving up. I'm not letting go. I need a shift in this and the Bible said the angel appear come on in here and say oh Daniel man that is greatly beloved from the first day you set your face oh Jesus your prayer was heard so touch your neighbor say neighbor the devil can block your prayer mm -mm. Him can block your prayer. Him only can fight your answer. Oh, Shia, where is the worship as in him? I tell two people, him can block your prayer, man. From the first day, you hope me a more God here. Oh, Shia. You're not coming with me, in a man. I said, the Bible said, you read it when you go home. Daniel 10, 21. 20 and 21. He said, from the first day, when you pray, oh, I haven't heard Oh, Shia. So, no, no, can stop God from listening. No witch, no warlock, no unclean spirit can block your prayer. They can only fight your answer. You're not coming with me, no man. You're not coming with me, no man. 
Everybody said, neighbor, I don't care where you are. Open your mouth. God, I hear. No devil can stop God from listening your prayer. Come on, somebody. He said, from the first day, your words was heard. And I am come. Come on, because of your words. But the king of the prince, the prince of the kingdom of Persia, he is the one that is fighting the answer. But guess what? As soon as I leave this place, a shift is going to take place. He said, I'm leaving now. And when I leave, there will be no more pain. Persia. I can tear down the kingdom of Persia. I can pull down the prince of Persia. And when I leave, a shift is going to take place. And the kingdom of Greece will take over. In other words, there is no political system that is set up except it's a demon or angel behind it. You're coming with me because you see the kingdom of Persia had Babylon control. You're not hearing me. And the angel said to him, Daniel, when I leave here now, I'm going to fight with the prince of Persia. And when I leave, the prince of Greece shall become the leader. In other words, I'm going to pull down the Persian kingdom. And the Greece shall become the next world power. So there is no world power without an angel or without a demon. And if heaven ever said no, there is no man can become a prime minister or a president except heaven mm, sanction that. You're coming with me, man. Oh, touch your neighbor. Say nobody can sit. In the house of parliament if heaven don't sanction that there is no prime minister and a president that can sit in their seat if heaven don't sanction that you're coming with me and so now the prince of I was a demon and the demon put who he wants to reign but when Daniel see God face because of Daniel seeking God face God said alright I'm going to give a shift that's the power of the prayer of the saints anytime the saints of God begin to pray kingdom move you're coming with me if the church is annoyed with a government and the church see God fierce that government must go down who am I talking to it's not the government that hold the keys of a country who am I talking to touch your neighbor and tell them who hold the country come on somebody touch your neighbor and tell them who hold the country it is written in Mark chapter 16 13 to 17 upon this rock I'm going to build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. I'm coming in in a man. And he said, unto you, I give the keys. Who am I preaching to? Whatever you pull down, heaven pull it down. And whatever you allow, heaven allows who am i talking to and so here we see now a shift a place just because there was a prayer warrior one prayer warrior just one prayer warrior pull down the Persian kingdom and another kingdom take over you better touch your neighbor and tell your neighbor your prayer is important we need more prayer warriors in the apostolic church we have too much gossipers in the apostolic church we need more snipers too much vipers I feel it in my spirit I said too much vipers we more need more 
snipers who know how to shoot down the enemy who can get up in the way hours of the night and take the territory by force are oh, you coming with me Jesus is now on the shore of the gatherings and here comes a man demon possessed the man that was demon possessed he was carrying the head demon of that country are you coming with me the territorial spirit was right on the shore to black Jesus Christ from coming in the city in other words a kingdom clash the kingdom of God is going over and the kingdom of darkness said no so the kingdom of darkness sent contrary win but the kingdom of God calm that by the time the kingdom of God reached the source the kingdom of darkness the clear war you're not coming with me in a man come on touch your neighbor say neighbor it's a kingdom it's a kingdom clash the kingdom of darkness is fighting against the kingdom of God but thanks be to God I heard the Bible said from the days of John the Baptist until now 2024 warfare is on its way and the kingdom of God is taking back territories for Jesus Christ I come to speak to kingdom citizens who know that the kingdom of God is not supposed to talk the kingdom of God is not in words but the kingdom of God spells power if you have the kingdom you have got power if you got the kingdom you have got fire if you got the kingdom no devil can kill you before your time if you have the kingdom Shire. my god i feel a shift in the atmosphere and so now the prince demon whole the place under siege the whole place is controlled by the prince of the gatherings are you coming with me now jesus now show up uh -huh. and the prince demon that is in the man decide that you can't come over here i adjure you go back where you come from now come over decide don't put no church over here who am i talking to get the church out oh jesus but god says uh, uh, why are we are defend where are the christians then the one no holy ghost feel at their workplace then the one speaking in tongues they don't want to cover up head who am i talking to but slap the neighbor say neighbor there is a people who god sent in the earth clears war you got to war for everything it's not coming easy you got to open your mouth and shut down some stuff are you coming with me give me five more please and now watch this the bible said that is the prince demon in the man that attacks jesus and jesus now rebuked the demon and the demon now start to back up because greater show up is there anybody in here can put your hand on your belly and said I have this treasure in earth and vessel that the excellency of the power may be of God is not about me it is the power of God that is in my belly are you coming warriors and so now kingdom class and God now begin to let the 
the demon know that greater power is on the shore? Uh, the demon start cry out, uh, and Jesus said, "What is your name?" Uh, and the demon said, "My name is Legion, uh, for we are many." Uh, oh, Jesus said, "Wonder, we wonder now as preachers, uh, because we know Legion uh, is about six thousand. Uh, it speak of a Roman uh, set of army uh, that carries about six thousand soldiers. So in this man." was over 6,000 demons. Are you coming with me? It show me say one demon can't hold on a child like that, you know? Come on, it takes 6,000 demons for your black one man. Are you coming with me? Oh, touch your neighbor, say neighbor. No worry about them. Me alone, I chase 1,000 of them. But if I ever join up with one Holy Ghost field, me 10 times more powerful. Who am I talking to? It's kind of a little bit flat over here. But don't worry, we're taking it up tonight. We're all the worshipers. And so now the Bible said that the demons bow now and the demons are cry because greater power subdue the demon him say my name legion in other words we are warriors we are soldiers so I saw soldier demons hold the man in bandage I have to ask some question Lord Jesus I said Lord it takes so much demons to conquer this man yeah? And then we said, Lord, what's taking place here? Because now these demons are big. And the demons are said, Lord, please don't you send us out of the city, out of the country, out of the region. In other words, this demon is a territorial demon. This demon have this city lock. So if you throw him out, he might go into somebody else's territory and he's going to become subordinate. So he don't want to leave. I used to ask the question to God. You are God and are you run things. Why are you making this day? Oh yeah, yeah, grant them their request. Why oh, you not send them and then go and fire a boy? And make them become subordinate. And the Lord give me the answer. You want it? The Lord says, son, we make them stay right there because you see man with the inner we have all the worshipers. Oh, slap your neighbor, say neighbor. Don't worry when God finish with you. Every demon will fight you. Under your feet. It's kind of a little bit too tight. We are the warriors. And so Jesus grant them their request. So the demons then stay in the territory. Go on in a swine. Hallelujah. But the swine they never join. That surprised me again, preacher. We know the swine run down in the water in the lake. But they not join then join. When I have time to read it, I choke then get. So I choke the man, then choke the man, kill him. Mad them, mad in it. Read it when you have time. I know John, then John, I choke, then get. The demon, then choke them and kill them. Where is the worshippers in here? All right, let's have some church, please. Come back. And so the Bible said that Jesus allowed them. And the man now is clothed in his right mind. Where are the worshippers? Demons are out. Touch somebody, tell them when God call you. And cast out the demons out of you. God said, I tell you, it's time for you to have dominion. Reign. You don't need to run for nothing. You don't need to run from the community. You don't need to run from the dining of the place. Because if Holy Ghost in you, God, I got to deal with him because of you. You wish the worshippers is kind of flat, too tight. It's a little bit too tight. Somebody throw your head back, man, and say something. It's kind of a little bit flat. Where are the warriors in here? Come on, somebody. Uh, can I punch this in, please? Back over in West Milan. I don't know if you hear about Russia. Russia used to run, yes, bad place. One man, Dan on the earth. Wanted for Sablamar, wanted for 48 counter murder. And I was led to have a street service close. And uh, when we do the first night, them send a message that tell Brother Baker say yes, not to come back for one year and have no service. 
Because if him come around here and have no service, we're coming right in the service and shoot him. And when I heard that, I started to smile. I said, what a nice way to die. I don't mind die preaching. So if I go dead, I'm dead preaching. I want to die preaching. So I sent back a message. I said, we're going to move the service from where it is. And I'm going to bring it over bridge. We are moving from the crossroad and bring it over bridge. That it become easier for you. Where is the worshippers? Touch two people and tell them, say, the righteous is bold like a lion. We have had the warriors. Pull your neighbors. Come on, man. We're having church tonight. <laughs> Hallelujah. And we have the service over bridge. Holy Spirit. And I start preaching. And them they over there. And them, them group up on the bridge. Hallelujah. I preach harder than a man. Because then they, they preach more harder. You know what that? You know so when the enemy show up at that the time. The Holy Ghost stand up in your belly. So I start blow harder. And I see them. And I, I, I see them. You know? You know how bad boy rule and then I rule and I pass. Who tell them to pass Bishop Baker? And I start ball out. I said, Dad! Man, heart start shaking now, you know. When Holy Ghost are back, where is the worshippers in here? Come on, man. Touch your neighbor. So we're having church tonight. Open your mouth and shout. I said, Dad! Dad! When I saw the death, hallelujah, I could feel man heart a beat fast. Then I shout out, God, please give a narrow escape. Shanda, that was the Wednesday night. You see the Saturday? The same boy them, the same boy them, the same boy them. We who passed the service. We sent church to them out shoot bishop in a service. Them have hand, what them call it? Dandemite. You know dynamite? Yes, them have dynamite where them plants eh? when the police vehicle are passed, them are threatening the police vehicle. You hear me? So they might try out then dynamite. So him light it. Show it. I wait till he go off. Dynamite not going off. Dynamite not going off. Dynamite now go off. Still not going off. Take it up. Dynamite blow off. Hand tear off. Where is the worshippers in here? Where is the warriors in here? Shia was a man in a hospital now. And doctor come over to man and said, son. If that hand was six inches closer to your face, your head would blow off. The doctor says, son, it's a narrow escape. When him hear that, guess what I remember? You remember the preaching, where is the worshippers in here? I'm bad man sent for me and Elder Mullins. And she sent for Brother Baker, please, more want you to come pray for me. And when me and Elder Mullins go to the hospital, the young man on the hospital bed, you remember the first thing he said, Elder Mullins? He said, baptize me now. Where is the worshippers? You better touch your neighbor, say, neighbor, if you are in the territory, you become the head of the territory. Who am I talking to? Holy Ghost fill, fire baptized. Jesus name. If you're there in the workplace, even though you are the less educated, you are the head of the workplace. Who am I talking to? If you're in the family, even though you have no money at all, at all, at all, you become the head of the family because of the Holy Ghost that is inside of your belly. Can I preach to 10 people in here? Throw your head back, open your mouth, and say, I hold the keys of my community. I hold the keys of my territory. I hold the keys of my... 
come on, I'm on the family. Open your mouth, throw your head back and say something. It's kind of a little bit too flat. And the Bible said that the man is loose. The man is delivered. The man is set free. Demons cast out. But demon is still in the region. And now the man is delivered. And say, Jesus now is going back. On the other side, and the man said, Can we? Can I come with you? Can I follow you? I'm coming wherever you are, Jesus. Anywhere you go, Lord, please don't leave me. I will follow. But Jesus turned and, and said, No, you are not coming with me. Who am I preaching to? Right where you are. You see them demons that were used to have you in a bandage. You see those demons that used to keep you in the tomb. You see those demons that put on chains on you. Now I feel your time. Where is the worshippers? It's kind of a little bit flat for all the hell you have been through. It's time for you to reverse the curse. Who am I talking to? It's time for you to put him under your feet and trample him. Who am I preaching to? Jesus said, go on back home. Go deal with those spirits. Go on back home and let hell know that right in any place that you have me in bondage, I'm going to deliver people. I'm going to save people. I'm going to lay my hand on people. I'm going to cast you out. Open your mouth if I'm preaching to you. Throw your head back and say something. Come on, throw your head back and say it's my time it's my season the devil couldn't kill me destiny is inside of my belly who am i preaching to i said the devil hold the man have the man in tombs have the man with chains but when jesus show up deliverance show up Jesus will leave from over this side coming over to the other side wherever you are he's going to find you if you can open your mouth and call him hard enough if you can shout hard enough if you can cry this poor man cry unto the Lord and he heard me and deliver me from all my fears I feel a shift again I heard David David says hear my cry oh God attend unto my prayer from the ends of the earth will I cry unto thee when my heart is overwhelmed don't lead me to the prime minister don't lead me to the bishop but lead me to the rock which is higher than i for on christ the solid rock i stand all of the ground is sinking sand when peace like river attending my way when sorrows like sea pillars roll whatever my lot that was taught me to say it is well no food in the fridge but it is well pain rock in the body but it is well children give in trouble it is well when you're going to open your mouth like Daniel and shout when the fight is on open your mouth give God a praise come on when the praise is goes up your deliverance somebody throw your head back open your mouth and shout again shout again shout again shout again what the enemy meant for evil god is using that very thing mm -hmm. he was bound 
when the chains he was in the tombs but little did they know that those tombs were not burial those tombs was just where he was planted come on slap your neighbor say neighbor I am not buried I am planted planted who am i talking to what i do more people i'm not buried i am planted i'm down but i'm on my way up i am in but i'm on my way out god said tell my people when you go over there you are down but don't stay down throw your head back and praise your way up you are in but don't stay in throw your head back and praise your way out anybody come with a praise anybody come with a praise tell your name by the king is calling me as you tell somebody the king is calling my name the scepter is stretched out who am I talking to if I perish I perish but I must see the king where are the warriors in here there's a heavenly calling over the church come up higher who am I talking to it's Holy Ghost time. Somebody throw your head back. Open your mouth and declare a Holy Ghost time. It's ministry time. Deliverance time. No devil can hold me down. No covetousness. No bad mind. No witchcraft. No hate can't hold me. No doom. No jail. No prison. Prison break tonight. Who am I talking to? As a prison break tonight. Shanda. Shayabasa. As a jail break. Jail break. It's my time. It's my season. It's time for my gifts to manifest. It's time for my, my ministry to be brought. Nobody can stop it. Throw your head back. No principalities, no powers can block the anointing in your life. Throw your head back. Take two minutes. Take two minutes and shout a high praise. Take two minutes. No chin can keep your hand on your side. Who am I talking to? I said, no to whom can keep you in. The anointing on your life shall tear up, broke up, destroy. I heard the sounds of handcuffs, handcuffs falling off. I heard the sound of change. Somebody start shake off everything. Shia. Yeah, Messiah. Yeah, Papa, sir. Shanda. Jesus said to tell you, He won't let you die. Now, now, Jesus went over to the gatherings. He delivered the man. And he told the man, Your ministry is right here. Go back to them. Go and preach. Go and tell them your testimony. The man went and the whole city was marveled. He became the preacher of that region. Now when you look after Jesus delivered the man. The Bible said that Jesus went back in the ship. That simply means the only reason for Jesus getting in the ship 
and going over to the gatherings was for that madman. That means Jesus has something in that madman. He left the crowd and went over the gatherings for the one madman. Oh, Shia, where is the worship? As I come with a word for somebody. I come with a word for somebody. Now, don't miss this. Jesus went there just for the madman. But the question is, why the legions target that man? Who is this man? That 6,000 demons have a fight. Have him in a tomb. And the Bible said the man always a uh, break asunder. That means the man fight for deliverance. Uh. The man was grievously vexed with the demons and have him in a bandage. Uh. The man was crying out by hell and heaven here. Where is the worship us? I wonder if somebody in here tonight will cry out for help. I wonder if somebody's here because they need a move from God. Well, I am Samnet Iron. Your help is here tonight. No demon can stop you. No witch can block you. No generational curse. You're here. Warriors. Shaya. Yeah, Messiah. Shanda. Heaven won't let you die. Come on, somebody, hold on. We're going in now. Take the hand of the person next to you. Mm -hmm. Touch and agree tonight. Shaya. Touch is a connection. Shanda Basa. Yeah, Messiah. Shaya Baba Basa. We're not leaving you out tonight. Hold on to that hand. Shaya. Shanda. David was behind him for the house. I look over a few goat and sheep. And David testified that from the ends of the earth. And he said, God, find me. He's my light. And he's my deliverer and salvation. This poor man cried. I wait patiently. Shia. I stop by to tell a child of God. If you are crying, keep on crying. For fears is a language that heaven understand. I'm here to tell you, cry out the more. Blind Bartimaeus, cry out the more. Because if heaven ever hear you, heaven will come for you. Who am I talking to? It's kind of flat. Jesus will not allow destiny to die. He will leave the 90 and 9. He will go over the hills and the valley. When a child of God is crying out. Come on, Jesus said to his disciples. I must go to Samaria. And uh, he said, it is a must. I must go to Samaria. Why are you going to Samaria? One woman who married five times uh -huh, and divorced and is with a man that is not hers. She's going to uh, the well in the heat of the sun. I must go to Because man right her off. Society, right around. Squeeze that hand, let them feel you. You're holding on to a survivor tonight. Shia. You're holding on to an overcomer tonight. The devil thought that one would have been mad. The devil thought you would have been dead. But you are a survivor. I'm not sent to everybody tonight. I'm sent to the survivors. Squeeze that hand. Shake that hand a little bit. Shia. I must go through Samaria. There's a destiny baby in Samaria. There's a preacher in Samaria. She's been rejected of men. She's a woman of sorrow. She's acquainted with grief. But destiny 
enemies in her belly. Who am I talking to? Oh, squeeze that and I let them feel you. I must go through Samaria because somebody's at the well. Somebody's at the well that need a drink of the eternal water. Somebody's at the well that need a drink. Shanda Messiah. Yamasa. Yeah, Papa Shire. Shanda. I feel it in my hands. I feel it in my feet. I feel the Holy Ghost stretching out in me. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's not over until God says it's over. God have the last word in your life. Get up. Shanda. Shire Messiah. We are Messiah. Try again. Get up. Praise again. Get up. Pray again. Worship again. Come to church again. Forward still. This is a as will. Though the pillows doesn't pray with a conquering tread. Somebody push with a praise tonight. Push with a praise tonight. Push with a worship. Shanda. We are my My God from Zion, Shire, I hear the Lord trying to tell you, your ministry is going to a new dimension. The Lord trying to tell you, look, the Lord trying to tell you, hundreds first choir. God, you are the choir director. Yes. The Lord trying to tell you. Hundreds of choir members shall be under you. Where is the worshipers in here? Where are the warriors in here? The Lord said there are some smile with you, but deep they have a little thing against you. God said He give you the spirit of discerning a spirit. You know them. God said, Don't watch them, don't let them discourage you. Because there are hundreds. This shall be a, a mega ministry. Come here, Bishop. Where are the warriors? I want you to stand here, sir. Shire. Shire. Bishop. The Lord said to tell you, it's a mega move. God said to tell you, he's going to do a mighty move. There's going to be a shift. As I preach tonight, I see angels. That's why I'm on angels so much. I see angels. I see a piece of property. I see angels around the property. I see funds coming supernaturally. God said to tell you, sir, the shift is on its way. And the mega is birth. After this week, your ministry is brand new. People from the east, lift your hands. From the west, from the north, and the south shall come. God said, don't worry about those who are fighting. They are fighting a losing battle. Oh, shia basa. I got the Lord said to tell you, don't worry. The finance is coming. Shia basa. Where is the worshippers in here? Where is the warriors in here? Where is the pill? Write out the vision, draw the vision, put pitch up on the vision. Make the church to the mega church. Where God show you. God said he must send people from all walks of life to make sure the vision come to pass. Everybody shut your hands. 
After three, we're gonna release it. Shia Basaya. After three, we're gonna call the finance. After three, we're gonna call the helpers, the workers. Shia Basa. Backbone. We're calling all those who know how to stand with your leader. Who know how not to fight your leader. Who know not to fight your leader's wife. Who know how to stand beside her and back up the vision. God is sending them from the east, the north, the south, and the west. Worshippers, you ready? Choir, you ready? After three, all they need to do is show Jesus. One, two, Jesus, take it. Now it's yours. Yes, it's yours. Somebody up me a mouth and shout again. Up me a mouth, the cutting is anointed. The cutting is anointed. The cutting is anointed. The cutting is anointed. Somebody open your mouth and push back every attack. Push it back. Push back every financial attack. Somebody say something. Open your mouth. Shout again. Open your mouth. Somebody show revival. Somebody show revival. Somebody show revival. It's on the way. It's on the way. Shaya. Ayabasa. Shanda. Yamasaya. I need four prayer warriors. Sorry, I, I'm not going to finish this message tonight. I need four prayer warriors. I need, I need four intercessors. I want one back up down there. One back up there. One back up there. One back up there. In the realm of the spirit, we are surrounding this ministry with prayer. Come on. Can I get four? 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 Who's the first? Who's the first prayer warrior? Come here. Who's the first prayer warrior? I want you to go to that. Can I just stand up? Shia. Bishop, go to your stand up. Shanda. Somebody come here. I need one more. I need two more. Where are you? Why? Prayer warriors, come. Prayer warriors from this ministry, come. Where are you? Come. Stand up at the corner over there. You stand up down there. Shia. Where are the warriors in here? Where are the warriors in here? The battle is first one in the spirit. Where are the warriors in here? Where are the worshippers in here? Where are the believers in here? Where are the believers in here? After three, we praying. After three, we covering. After three, we pushing back every attack. You ready, the warriors? I see some moat, you know. I see some moat. I see some moat. Some moat, who up, you know? Warriors, are you here? I see some moat, who up, you know, Bishop? Some moat, who up, you know? I say, you know, Bishop, and I say, I'm trying to think. But who God bless? Warriors, are ready? Warriors, are ready? Warriors are ready. One, two, three, blood. Blood, 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 The blood of Jesus. We launch an attack right now. We launch an attack right now. We pull down every stronghold. Every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God. Bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Somebody start a war. Somebody plead the blood. Somebody open your mouth. I say plead the blood. Open your mouth. Plead the blood. Open your mouth. Throw your head back. Declare war. War. Where are the snipers? Where are the snipers? Where are the sharp shooters? Shoot down every spirit, every demon of delay. Shanda, of the amount of warriors, we decree, we decree no weapon that it form against this ministry, no weapon that it form against the apostolic house of worship and deliverance, no weapon. Every tongue rise up against Bishop and his wife. We pull them down now. Shire. Pull it down, warriors. Every curse word. Every hateful tongue. Every deceitful tongue. Every lying tongue. Every murmuring tongue. We pull them down by fire. Shire. Shire. Somebody start a war. Somebody start a 
your wall. Open your mouth and plead the blood. Open your mouth and show glory. Show the glory. Hallelujah. Push him back. Push him back. Push him back. Push him back. back. Every attack. Open your mouth. Push back every attack. Though we walk in the flesh, we do not war according to the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty to God. To the pulling down of stronghold. Come on, come on. One more time, reverse every curse. One more time. One more time. Send them in the deep. One more time. One more time. Open your mouth. Shout one more praise. Open your mouth. Shout a war cry. I said, shout a war cry. Shout a war cry. Shout a war cry. As a shout a war, shout a war, shout a war. We call destiny help us. We call destiny help us. Shanda, hands high. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers against rulers of darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in high places tonight we pull them down do I have any water you can bring any water for me oh your water that's, that's my water can I get this water you're, 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 you're pulling it bishop you're breaking the scene go ahead Father, please put your precious blood in this water. Put your healing virtue in this water. Use it to bring healing to you, sir. Jesus says he's healing you tonight. Drink. Yes. I command you to be healed. I command you to be healed. I command you to be healed. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Jesus is your healer. He's touching you tonight. Hallelujah. Somebody open your mouth and say something. Open your mouth and give God one more shout. Give God one more praise. Give God one more praise. Take my rag. I just have some money coming to you from somebody overseas for your wedding. Take it. Shia. Somebody keep the praises flowing. Somebody open your mouth and shout again. Open your mouth and shout again. Open your mouth and shout again. Jesus, love you, sir. Jesus said to tell you, a mighty turnaround is coming in your health. Shia Basa. A mighty turnaround. Shia Basaya. A mighty move from God. Your prayers. Your prayers move God. Your prayers move God. When you pray, heaven move. God said to tell you, don't stop praying. They discourage you, but don't stop praying. When you pray, heaven is summoned. We are the warriors. Keep the praises on, man. Hallelujah. Keep the praises on, warriors. Hallelujah. Keep the praises on, two hands high. Shanda. Ahaya Masa. Shanda Masaya. Ahaya Masa. Hands high. Hands high. Let my answers be released. The woman was nothing in society. 
But there was something inside of her that was crying out. The man was in the tomb. But something inside of him was crying out. The Bible said there was a revival in Samaria. Philip was preaching. But the angel of God went to Philip and said, leave from this revival. I want you to go to Gaza. Go to the wilderness. There is somebody there. He left his revival and went into the wilderness. And when he looked, there was a man coming from church. Coming from Jerusalem, the temple. He didn't get anything. He traveled from Ethiopia to Jerusalem just to go to church. And didn't get anything. He was crying out for more. And God took Philip from his revival and bring him in the desert. What are you trying to say, Bishop Baker? If you just cry out hard enough, your answer must be released. Shia Vasaya. I say, if you cry out loud enough, God will send angels to bring your deliverance tonight. If you cry out hard enough, there is no prince in Persia that can block your answer. If you cry out hard enough, you could be in your father's house looking after a few sheep. God shall find you. He will lift the ninety and nine. Wherever you are right now, right hand in the air. This little preacher that you see here, the book said from the Gautamus. I'm coming from nothing. I'm coming from couldn't afford to buy coal to cook. Didn't have a stove, but I couldn't buy the coal. I have to use stones and go get wood. Couldn't buy a little cursing oil. I have to use plastic. I cried out to God. Didn't have any subjects. Didn't have any trade. I cried out to God. God heard me. Put his hand on me and pulled me from the gutter. I don't know who I'm sent to tonight. Right where you are, you're going to call heaven tonight. Right where you are, you're going to seek, you're going to reach out and touch heaven tonight. I don't care what kind of generational curse. I don't care what kind of weakness or addiction. If you ever seek, call, cry hard enough, right where you are, you're going to receive a visitation. You're going to receive a visitation from God. I don't care what kind of sickness. Oh, Shala. Shanda Masa. I don't care what kind of sickness. If you ever reach out and touch him tonight, he's here to deliver you. He's here to deliver you. He said, Moses, I heard the cry of my people. I've seen the affliction. I know their pain and I am come down to deliver. Come on warriors after three. Everybody in this house you're going to cry out. Not from your head but from your belly. Come on from the most part of your spirit you're gonna reach out and touch God tonight and I can tell you testimonies coming back before this meeting is over somebody with fibroid in the belly have a testimony I don't know it gone somebody with cysts your testimonies tonight somebody with high blood pressure somebody with diabetes in the body somebody I need to do a surgery somebody connect by the way of internet 
it. God is going to touch you tonight. Come on, somebody, lift up your hand. Get ready. Lift up your hands. From the first day, your words were heard and I was sent to hands. Forget who is beside you. Forget who don't like you. Forget who is fighting you. It's between you and God now. Musician, technician, multi-miller personnel, choir, visitors, saints. Rashtram, it's your time now to reach out and touch God for a shift. Shia Basaya. Shanda. The man was addicted with crack cocaine. He was addicted with smoking and weed and cigarette. He was addicted with the drugs and the alcohol. But it was a night like tonight. All he did is reach out and touch God. When service is over, taste gone. He never went back to crack cocaine. Never go back to smoking of cigarette. Never go back to ganja. Come on, lift your right hand in the ear. Get ready. God want to do something in your life tonight. God want to break the demon of loss. He want to destroy masturbation. He want to kill fornication. He want to break up adultery. And I, after three, you're going to touch him. After three, from your spirit. After three, mm, block out everything. After three, forget what you're going to. One, two, three. Shah! 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 Shout! 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 Yes! Shout! Yes! 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 Oh! Oh my God! Yes! 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 Yes. Right now. Right now. Right now. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. Yes. 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 Right now. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. He's doing yes. It. Right now. Yes. Yes. Right now. Yes. Right now. Right now. Yes. Yes. He's doing it now. Yes. 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 My God. Yes. He's doing it. He's doing it. Yes. Hallelujah. He's doing it for you. Oh, glory. Right now, he's doing it for you. Right now, hallelujah. Right now, he's doing it for you. Yes, yes, yes. Right now. Yes. Somebody open your mouth. Yes. Open your mouth. Yes. Open your mouth. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost. Glory, hallelujah. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Yes. The battle is not yours. Yes. It belongs. Yes. Yeah. Oh, my he's God. He's doing it. Yes, yes. He's doing it right Hallelujah. now. Hallelujah. Right now, the Holy Ghost. Oh, my God. He's doing it. He's doing it right now. Right now, right now, right now, hallelujah! Right now, he's doing it, he's doing it right now. Somebody up your mouth, yes, 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 so right now, right now, Holy Ghost, he's doing oh, it. Holy Ghost. right now, receive it, take it right now, take it now, right now, 
right now. Right now, right now. Right now. Yes. I shift his step. Oh my place. God. I shift his step. Oh my God. I shift. Hallelujah. I shift. Yes, I shift. I shift. Shift. It's taking place. Hallelujah. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Hallelujah. Shut Hallelujah. Up. Oh yeah, my God. Right. Glory to God. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. He's doing it. He's doing it. Right now. Right now. Right now. Yes. 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 Jesus. Yes. Jesus. Oh glory. Yes. Oh glory. He's doing it. He's doing it. He's doing it. He's doing it now. He's doing it now. Now. Hallelujah. Glory. He's a healer. He's a healer. He's a healer. Yes. I said Jesus Christ. Yes. He's healing you. He's doing it right now. Right now. Right. Right. Right now. Right. Right now. Yes. Right now. Right now. Right. Right now. Right now. Right now. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Oh, glory, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Hallelujah. It's taking place. Yes. Right now. Yes. Somebody help her. Oh, glory, hallelujah. Somebody help her. Glory, hallelujah. Open your mouth. Glory, hallelujah. Somebody help her. Glory, hallelujah. He's healing you. Yes. Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. He's healing you. Yes. Not tomorrow. Not tomorrow. Not next week. Not next week. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Hallelujah. Shana. He's healing you now. Yes, sir. Now. Now. He's now. doing it. Oh, my God. Right now. Yes, sir. He's doing it. Oh, glory. Right now. 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 Yeah. Jesus, Shire. oh glory, oh glory, yeah, oh glory, man, hallelujah! Man. Yes, Jesus, open hallelujah! Your mouth. Oh glory, shout again, hallelujah! I say, open your mouth, hallelujah! Show you one more place. Oh, turn around, hallelujah! It's coming, hallelujah! In your life, Jesus, I turn around. It's coming, hallelujah! In your house, hallelujah! God said to tell you, hallelujah! The battle, glory, is not yours. Hallelujah. This battle Mama, that you're going through now belongs to him. We are the warriors. Hallelujah. Jesus. Jesus. Oh my God. Hallelujah. Shire. Oh glory to God. Hallelujah. Shire. Jesus. Jesus. He's doing it. Yes, right now. He's doing, he's it. doing it. He's doing it. He's doing it. Now. He's doing it. Hallelujah. He's doing it. Yes, sir. Right now. Yes, sir. A shift. Yes. A shift. Shift. A shift is taking place. It's taking place right now. 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 Take it. Take it. Take it. Right now. Oh my God. Yes. Take it. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Tell you, greatness is invisible, but His presence can be felt. The reason why you go through so much is because of greatness that is within you. God sent me tonight to tell you no weapon hell farm against you shall prosper. God have a plan. God said to tell you you are an end time minister. These hands are going to lay on the sick. These hands yes, have Jesus. a mighty work to do for Hallelujah. God. I come against every attack right now. Yes. Everything that come against a ministry. Yes. I push it back. Yes. No! Somebody plead the blood. blood. Blood of Jesus. Somebody plead the blood. 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 God says, stand beside your bishop. Stand behind your bishop. No make nobody shift you. No make nobody move you. There is an army God is raising up. And you are a part of the army. You have a story to tell. And God said, no weapon form against you shall prosper. I release a fresh flow of the anointing. God shall use you as a mighty weapon of war. Stretch your hands towards him. After three, all you need to do is show Jesus. When you say Jesus.
fresh flow for God is doing a new thing in this ministry. Oh, we are the warriors. Hallelujah. Are you here? Oh, After Hallelujah. Jesus showed Jesus over him. For God is taking him from here to here tonight. One, two, three, you're a visionary. It is in a dream. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. By the authority invested two, three. in me. I speak over your life. I speak over your life. God is taking you to a higher dimension. Not tomorrow. Not next week. Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. My God. My God. My God. My God. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My God. Glory. Hallelujah. Somebody say revival. Hallelujah. Somebody say revival. Revival. Somebody say revival. 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 Oh, glory. Hallelujah. Revival. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. I've been preaching every night for the last three and a half weeks. Somebody wave your hand and give God a praise. Somebody's tired. Somebody give God one more praise in here. Hallelujah. Somebody show one more. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody glory. show glory. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah, Jesus. Shia. Somebody say, My answer. My answer. Is released. Release. In 2024, I take it and I'm walking in my overflow. Clap your hands and praise the name of God. Clap your hands and magnify the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. I want you to turn to three people and tell them, Welcome to the next level. Shia, Ayabasa. Come on, tell them welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. To the next level. Welcome. Ask your neighbor how you feel. How you, feel? you like it? Yes. Welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the next level. Hallelujah. Come on, welcome to the level of manifestation. Hallelujah. Come on, it's the level of manifestation. Somebody give God one more shout. Give God one more praise. Shout at him! Hallelujah! Shout at glory! Hallelujah! Shout at glory! Thank you, Jesus! Glory, thank you, Jesus! Somebody applaud the King! His name is Jesus! Glory. Christ of Nazareth, applaud him tonight! Lift up your head, oh, he did! And be you lifted up! Everlasting doors! If you are here and you are not yet baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, Come now, please. If you are sick in the body, if you are depressed, if you are bound, walk to this altar right now. Shaya basa. Ahaya basaya. Shaya basa. Come on, somebody, keep the praises on. Hallelujah. Where are the warriors? Somebody give God a high praise in here. Somebody keep the praises on. If you're a backslider, please walk to this altar. If you're a backslider, it's your time now. Walk to this altar. Somebody keep the praises on. Come on, we don't need no spectators tonight. Hallelujah. We need partakers. We need worshipers. Come now. Where are the warriors? Where are the worshipers? Keep the praises on. Where are the warriors in here? Come on, clap your hands and magnify God in this house. Come on, keep the praises on. Keep the praises on. Keep the praises on. Keep the praises on. Shia. Touch that young man for me. Ask him if he's baptized in Jesus' name as yet. Max Lider. Come here, son. Come here. This is my rock. Wipe your face. Yes. You are a preacher. You are a preacher. This time is going to be better. Greater. This time. 
you're going to experience the glory of God. The glory of the risen Christ shall be revealed in your spirit. We are the warriors in here. Hallelujah. We are the warriors in here. Hallelujah. We are the worshippers in here. Wave your hands tonight. Shaya basa. We are the believers in here. Keep the praises on. Is there one person that is not yet baptized in Jesus' name? If you are here, just lift your hand. Let me see you. Lift your right hand. Let me see you. If you have not yet been baptized in Jesus' name, come on, worshipers. Keep the praises on. Hallelujah, Jesus. Come on, somebody. Keep the praises flowing. 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 Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Keep the praises on. Come on, warrior, say something. Come on, believers, say something. It's not by might. It's not by power. It's by my spirit, says the Lord. Somebody keep the praises flowing, man. Somebody keep the praises flowing. It's Come on, keep the praises going. Keep the praises going. It's not by my, not by power. It's by my spirit, says the Lord. Come on, believers. Come on, come on. We're going to believe God tonight. For those that are on this altar, it's not his will that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance tonight. We're not leaving one soul behind. The answer is here. The answer is here. And we're believing God tonight because he's able to do exceedingly abundantly above that which we can ever ask or think of him tonight. I want some persons to come to pray with these on the altar tonight. Amen. We're believing God that their lives is going to be transformed. It's not by might nor by power, but it's the spirit of the Lord tonight. We want some altar workers to come. We want some altar workers to come tonight. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy is coming in the morning. Tears is a language that only God understands tonight. Jesus knows all about life's struggle. He will guide Till the day is done. There's not a friend like the lonely Jesus. No, not one. No, not one. This is an opportunity tonight to seek He, the Lord, while He may be found. Call He upon Him while He is near. Let the wicked forsake His ways and the unrighteous man His thoughts. And let him turn unto the Lord tonight, for he will abundantly pardon. He wants to be that bridge tonight over troubled water. He wants to be your comfort tonight. He leave the way you came tonight. I come for a touch. I come for a change tonight. I come for a miracle tonight. Somebody open your spirit. Open your spirit while you're in the sun of the night and believe God. Believe God tonight. Believe God. He's going to fix it. He's changing it right now. He's turning it around. Whatsoever the enemy meant for evil, God is turning it around right now on this altar. Come on, I want you to stand up, believers. Stand up. I know it's late, but stand up for these. Somebody stand in the gap tonight with these on the altar. Come on, in the name of Jesus, we're going to be praying. We're going to be praying. Touching Jesus tonight is all that matters. He's all that matters. He's all that matters. He's all that matters tonight. He will never leave you. He will never forsake you. Open your spirit right now on this altar and surrender your will. Surrender. Surrender tonight. Surrender to him. Come on. Come on. Surrender. Open your mouth. Open your mouth and tell it to him right now. Yokes are broken. Yokes are broken right now. Whatsoever you need, 
the answer is here the answer is here the answer is here in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus open your mouth open your spirit right now he's doing it for you he's doing it he's doing it he's doing it he's doing it there is no secret what god can do open your spirit right now seize the opportunity he's here he's here he's here he's here come on come on he's here right now open your spirit open your spirit the answer is right here